with this problem, we're going to find the least common multiple, or lookum, of two monomials. So least common multiple, remember it's got to be a multiple, so even though it says the word least, we're going to take the largest exponent. Okay, 15 and 20, look at a previous video if you need to see how to find multiples of numbers, but if we started writing out multiples of these, let's see, 15, 30, 45, 60. So it looks like 60 is the least common multiple of the numbers. It's 4 times 15 and 3 times 20. Now, how do we find the variable parts? Well, notice there's common v's on both sides, right? v to the 8th and v to the 6th. So we're going to include a v to the largest possible exponent, and that's going to be the 8. On the left, we have an x, and on the right, we don't have any x's. So if we're going to be a multiple, we do need to include as many x's as we see. So we're going to have to include those four x's and have an x to the fourth. Now for the u, on the right-hand side, sorry, on the left-hand side, we have u to the seventh, and on the right-hand side, we have u to the two. So between seven and two, of course, seven is larger, so that's the one we're going to take. And so the least common multiple would be 60 v to the eighth, x to the fourth, u to the seventh. Let's do one further example before you try one on your own. Least common multiple on the problem number two, for 12 and 15, let's start running through multiples of 12. Let's see, 12, 24, 36, 48, oh, 60 again, funny enough. So 60, because 12 times 5 is 60, and 15 times 4 is 60. What do we need to include in terms of the u's? Well, there are no u's on the left, but we do need to include the 8 u's that we see on the right. How many w's? On the left we see 3, and on the right we see 5, so we're going to include 5, because that's the larger number we see. And then finally, how many y's? Well, on the left we have 5, and on the right we have 3, so we're going to include 5, because we're going to include the highest number that we can. That creates the least common multiple. So why don't you pause the video for a second and see if you can find the least common multiple of these two monomials. 24x cubed v to the fifth, and 16x to the fourth v squared w cubed. So assuming you paused here for a second, tried it on your own, let me try it out. We're going to go with, let's see, 24, 48, 72, 96. The least common multiple is 96 for 24 and 16. 24 times 4 is 96, 16 times 6 is 96. For the x's, on the left we have cubed, and on the right we have 4, so we'll take 4 because that is the bigger of the exponents. For v, we're going to have 5 because on the left we have 5, and on the right we have 2. And then for the w's, we are going to include the 3 w's that we see on the right, even though there are none on the left because we need this in order to make it a multiple. So the final answer is 96x to the fourth v to the fifth, w cubed.